launch. T minus 35 seconds and counting. T minus 30 seconds. T minus 20 seconds. T minus 15. 10, 9, nine 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and liftoff of the Falcon 9 and DART on NASA's first planetary defense test to intentionally crash into an asteroid. So we're getting a nice view of the onboard cameras from the Falcon 9. So you can see it looking towards the first, the, the after end of the first stage. And you can see those engines coming to life. Stage one chamber pressure is nominal. And Falcon 9 will be reaching max Q in just seconds, the moment of peak mechanical stress on the rocket. And, and here in the mission data center, we can feel the rumble from the Falcon 9 and it's always amazing to hear and feel. Power and telemetry nominal. Everything looks good right now. It's really shaking the building where we are. Vehicle supersonic. Just heard that call out for supersonic. Going faster than the speed of sound. Max Q. And we've just passed Max Q, that moment uh, of peak mechanical stress on Falcon 9. And everything's looking good. We're still getting some nice views of the onboard Falcon 9 camera. And uh, we should be coming up on main engine shut off here in about a minute. So far, everything's looking good. Uh, all reports are nominal. Invec chill has started. Just heard the call off and back chill, so that's where it's getting ready to prepare uh, the second stage for engine ignition. Now that main engine cutoff or MECO we expect at T plus two minutes thirty seconds, and then almost immediately after that, the first and second stage of Falcon 9 will separate, followed by uh, the stage two first ignition. And then shortly thereafter, the jettison fairing at about T plus three minutes, eight seconds. So far, nominal liftoff. And as you notice, the, 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 the plume or the, the flame coming from the engines have gotten bigger. That means it's high in the atmosphere where the atmosphere isn't compressing the, the flames coming from the launch vehicle. Nico. Okay, we just heard that. Separation confirmed. In the ignition. So we just got confirmation of Miko stage separation and stage two ignition. And so this is a view of the Stage one Falcon 9 booster, you can see those uh, hypersonic grid fins uh, beginning to extend. The, the shot is a little bit dark, but you can see them uh, extended out from the base. Bearing separation confirmed. Of the booster, and we just heard confirmation that uh, the jettison fairing is complete. And those hypersonic grid fins help guide the Falcon 9 booster uh, back down towards Earth. Again, it's heading towards the, of course, I still love you, uh, drone ship. Stage two on nominal trajectory. So we just heard everything's looking good for stage two. You heard the positive confirmation of fairing jettison. And um, the Falcon 9 booster will be coming back. They'll be doing two burns. They'll be doing a boost back burn to get it closer to the, of course, I still love you, that's sitting about 400 miles south of where we are off the coast of Baja, California. And then they'll do another burn for when it's coming in for the landing. We're at T plus four minutes, six seconds, and so far, uh, nominal ascent of the DART mission, NASA's first planetary defense test. Falcon 9 booster will begin its re-entry burn in a little over three minutes. 
So, so far everything's looking great. And that's exactly what we wanted to hear. It was, it was awesome to hear it and feel a launch while we're sitting here in the Mission Data Center. Yeah, that rumble never gets old. Yeah. And hard to believe in about 11 months from now that that DART spacecraft the size of a vending machine is mm -hmm. going to crash head-on into Dimorphos at the speed of 15,000 miles per hour. Yeah. And... As we were talking about before, how fast is 15,000 miles an hour? I mean, it's like going from New York City to Los Angeles in less than a blink of an eye. So faster than you could blink, you'd travel across the country. So right now we're getting a good video. Um, that's looking at the interstage. We're obviously having some technical issues with some of our video feeds. Stage two on nominal trajectory. Trying to get those feeds, uh, get those kinks worked out so we can get those views back for you. Uh, but in the meantime, we will continue to talk you through everything that we're hearing. Uh, we can't see those views, but we are hearing that everything is nominal and on track. Yeah. And as we, and, and as you heard before, we it may be difficult sometimes to get the video from the stage one landing. Um, it's coming in very fast, and it sometimes it's hard to, to get that video. Yeah, that's a great point. It's okay. We can see, uh, and we see a view there. It's just, uh, it's just very dark out. <laughs> So look, we're getting some good video. Stage one, FTS is safe. Stage one, entry burn startup. All right. All right, so we got stage one coming in. Now you've got a better look at those grid fins. It's always awesome, amazing to see stage one coming back in for a landing. Stage one, entry burn shut down. All right. So okay, we've got a beautiful shot of stage two now. Stage two, FTS is safe. And we're, what we're looking at is the nozzle of stage two, and you see it glowing hot. Loss of signal cook. At this point in time, everything's looking nominal. And what you're seeing is that uh, MVAC engine on the Falcon 9 second stage glowing, shut down. glowing red hot. We just heard uh, that engine shut down. So stage two just completed its first burn of the first of two burns. So the first burn of second stage is helping to circularize the orbit after it's orbit the launch position. vehicle has gotten off of stage one, landing burn the surface start. of the Earth. And then you would, and then this, there's a second burn that'll be coming up. But right now, we are getting the landing burn from stage one. It's coming in for his landing. Looks like we're getting some good video. Stage one, landing leg deploy. You, you can see this, you can see the drone ship. The landing legs are out. All right, so we're back. We're getting another view of stage two mm -hmm. during its coast. And we just heard positive confirmation of stage one landing. Yeah, it's tricky to uh, maintain that feed from the, dro the drone ship uh, at the moment of landing, but we do have confirmation that uh, the first stage booster has landed 
uh, safely and successfully on the Of Course I Still Love You off the coast of Baja, California. And so now uh, we are in the first coast phase of the Falcon 9 second stage, of course, still attached to the DART spacecraft. So it's going to be coasting for uh, the next uh, 20 minutes or so, give or take, and then a uh, second burn will get started. So um, we're going to keep an ear on things. But for now, uh, we want to learn a little bit more about DART's mission. And to kick us off, we want to hear from the director of a new Hollywood movie about a cataclysmic comet. I heard there's an asteroid. Tell me about it. Hi, I'm Adam McKay, director of Don't Look Up. Our movie is about three scientists who try desperately to warn the planet of an impending doomsday comet and are ignored. Our movie's made up. It's a comedy. But in fact, the brilliant scientists at NASA are actually launching a mission. It's called DART, the Double Asteroid Redirection Test. And what they're going to test is, can you send up a mission that can deflect an asteroid and steer it away from Earth if, God forbid, something like that were ever to happen. Remember to keep an eye out for it. It's going to be spectacular. 